Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 111 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And today we have the Capital One Cup Final in 2018. And of course, we are the holders. If you go through the competition, just to show you once again, uh, it'll be good to obviously win it and hold on to the title, you know, retain the title. And we've actually won for the last couple of seasons. So it's a competition we've flourished in. Obviously, you can see the reputation of it it's not that high it's around yeah all these other different cup levels in other countries so yeah it's the 26th if you want to go by reputation uh the 26th highest reputation so it's not really rated that highly i suppose so i'm not sure what you think like do you think it's a good win like or is it just yeah man it's another one it's nothing too special um i feel it's always good to win a cup because that goes again, uh, in your history of a cup win. So it's better than nothing, you know. So we might as well look for the win here today. And I've decided because the league is actually close this season. Like, we're on the same points as Liverpool. Of course, we have an extra game and we're going to be playing against them. We're going to be playing against Man City. We've got Tottenham very soon. Uh, so they're tricky games where we could drop points in. And this could be, yeah, interesting yeah, title race. Man City, if they beat us, they'll be back in contention as well. So it has the potential, depending on us, yeah, it has potential to be a yeah, close title race. And Liverpool, yeah, are, and they're near the end, like very near to the end of the season. Man City and Liverpool, three days apart as well. So that's not going to be easy, especially with Champions League games around them at the same time. So yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to be an easy one. But we'll go into... Uh, this game today, which will just be the one, one game, then I'll think I'll do two per episode from then, just basically like my AC Milan series where I do every single game, I'll go back to doing this uh, for the rest of the season, and hopefully, yeah, we can uh, maybe win all competitions available to us, apart from the Capuni Shield, but that's just like a pre-season friendly kind of game, but yeah, the four, the Capital One Cup, FA Cup, Premier League, uh, Champions League, yeah, finish off with four competition wins. Uh, that would be pretty sweet, or at least the treble, well, I'd like to say the treble of FA Cup and Premier League and Champions League, uh, But and we could add yeah, Capital One uh, Cup to that as well to make it four, but yeah, those three are major I want to finish off with this season, and we have a chance here to get the Capital One Cup at least, so this is a team we're going in with, a pretty, a pretty good side, I think, I think we should advance, <laughs> or we should win the cup, yeah, we should win the title, as well uh, with our like our best team it's really a title winning team and hopefully a Champions League winning team uh, but Luke Shaw is actually injured now um, how yeah two weeks two weeks away but he's yeah his morale is very poor and that's actually standing out now because there's four players that are on very poor it's like so weird like the rest are so happy on superb very good all of that and then there's one there's like four but there's Iniesta because he's not playing enough Royce uh, it's funny about Royce because we've actually played him this season more than last season. Well, he played 22 games last season. He's played 21 this season, but the league's not finished yet, so he'll probably get more than that. I'm surprised he didn't raise the issue last season, so maybe he's just build up frustration. I don't really know, but yeah, that's definitely a standout right now, but for me, it's not going to be a concern. Uh, I, I'd like Royce to be happy to play part of Champions League, but if he's not, we're just going to bring in someone like, yeah, Yanazai. Uh, Yanazai's quality anyway, and he'll be part of the future, but yeah, that could be the situation as well, but like I said, uh, for the current future, um, I'm going to be f stopping this series um, after after this season, and I reckon I want to finish it on a high, and it probably will be my best series ever, it, pro it probably is so far anyway, but yeah, to finish it off with a Champions League win, we'll cap that off as I've been saying, so We'll go, ooh, what are we going to say, assertively. I like to say to do it for the fans, you know, on finals. Uh, where are we? Yeah, the fans have been fantastic for us. They're the ones who really pay your wages. Go out there and win the trophy for them. See, that's good. See, it's a good way. It will be a good way to win it. So let's go, guys. Big game here. Romero, I see See how our formation's set up? That I love the halfback role. <laughs> like I said, Maybe I won't want to do the same formation again if I do Manchester United and FM16, but I love this kind of formation where you play 4-3-3 three, three, uh, and your fullbacks are really attacking, like complete wingbacks where you play them, then that defensive midfielder almost acts like a third centre-back and provides that, the adequate cover, you know? 
And that's what makes it an amazing tactic and way of playing and Tielemans. See, he's at his best at the right time. He's labelled as a wonder kid now. Very, very good player. And yeah, he, he can step us for a step up for us in a Champions League final. You know, I feel now that's what we probably have lacked in the past. A world-class player in that role. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> of course, we had all those attack, like attacking quality players. But I feel, yeah, we had Di Maria in centre midfield. But no one, oh, I suppose, yeah, Ramiro's getting to that stage. But he's playing that really deep role now. Uh, the halfback, and Tielemann, just a general amazing centre mid, and we've got Goethe now as well, so surely, yeah, surely this will be our time uh, to finish it off in style, like I said, we're, our team's at the pinnacle right now, it's perfect, I feel, our squad, oh, Welbeck, oh, what a save, Casillas, can he make a double save, oh, how didn't he save that, Danny Welbeck makes us pay, 19th of the season, so he's stepping up uh, for them really uh, it was a good save initially, by, or an interesting save. Why? Yeah, he like kicked it away. But how didn't he save that? I thought, yeah, he was in a really good position to save it. But Welbeck, I guess, yeah, he's coming along really well. And obviously, I didn't sell him. Uh, he was sold uh, in real life. But it was really... I actually always like Welbeck. I think he's a good striker. Or my type of striker as well. Quick and can finish. Oh, Depay, Depay. Penalty. Penalty by Stefan de Vrij. And that rhymes, Depay and De Vrij, but <laughs> who's going to step up to take this? Hamas Rodriguez, he has been pretty solid again. Another big signing this season for us, quality, and he's got a lot of experience now, especially internationally, and he puts at home. Keep against the right way, but was never going to save that. That was an amazing penalty by Hamas Rodriguez, and yeah, he, um, I know we already had Tielemans, but like I said, he's really stepping up now to be a really good player, uh, Tielemans, I just want to check him out for a second, uh, Yuri Tielemans, where are we, go advanced tactics, um, yeah, we'll click on him, he's playing deep line playmaker today, but he's got, okay, he's going down in some attributes, that's training, some up, some down, that's what you get, but he's, yeah, really well-rounded, you know what I mean, only finishing is a bit low, probably won't score a lot, but he's just, yeah, general creative ability is, yeah, at a pinnacle right now, and he can improve so much more, he's labeled as a wonder kid, he's got potential, he can only get better, so, yeah, he's really going to step up in that role, along with Mario Goetze, but obviously Di Maria is going to play, but I'll, I'm almost hesitant, I'm a bit hesitant there, like, yeah, I want to play this, like, for me, this is our best two centre mids, Di Maria is getting a bit older now, and I believe Di Maria is a fantastic player, but I feel Tielemans will perform a bit better than him. But Di Maria's got the experience in Champions League, so what do you do there? But I feel, yeah, uh, Mario Goethe and Tielemans set up like that, and Goethe, high attributes, first touch, 20 outstanding, along with other high attributes. Those two, then Romero behind them, I feel that's the best midfield three setup. I don't know what you think, but that's my opinion now. And I reckon we could, yeah, if we get to the Champions League final, uh, that three in midfield, it will be able to dominate the game and obviously, hopefully, uh, win it. And you're seeing it on Showcase today, I suppose. See Tielemann winning the ball back. Young Yuri, he's still only 20. Oh, look at that dribbling. Okay, that wasn't his finest moments. And they find Danny Welbeck. Can he do it again? Come on, apply the pressure. Yeah, forced him into a shot from range. And Casillas, that was a bit more, um, you can say, um, what's the word? Um, yeah, just a bit more convincing. A bit more convincing with that save. Uh, opposed to the last one. Uh, but we'll go aggressively. I'm far from pleased. We're not playing at our best. We can turn it around here and win this final. Always finals are going to be tight. It doesn't matter what competition it actually is. If it's Champions League or even a couple one cup final. It's going to be really, really tight. Uh, Casillas. Bernat. He has to play in place of Luke Shaw. And he hasn't played too much this season. Uh, ideally, Luke Shaw. Like, I want to play him more because he's been playing regularly this season, you don't know how good Bernat's going to be, because he's been, he needs match fitness, really, that's the biggest thing, and we'll see, he's been all right so far, Memphis Depay, Memphis Depay, Memphis Depay, De Gea, oh, he's having a good game, he is having a good game, again, just repeating it, I'd love to still have De Gea, but he wanted to leave in the first season to play Champions League football, um, he would have it right now, he just didn't want to wait, I suppose, uh, but it's worked out, uh, for all of us, you know, I feel, because we spend that money well to get in guys that are part of the first team right now. Come on, Bernat. 
Come on, no. Yes, well done, Jones. And also, oh, Insigne. It might be a bit pointless talking about it now because they scored. But I talk about those, yeah, two center midfielders really good. Of course, Romero's, you can count it as a three. But then the two center backs, Jones and Belanta. Well, we conceded there, but I feel, yeah, Jones and Belanta will be part of that. Just amazing, yeah, amazing partnership. But we've, we've conceded two goals here. So I can't be bragging about it too much. And Sergio Ramos at right back. Like, that's really, really defensive. Oh, but we're not playing well here. No. Belanta. See? Just comes in, wins the ball. Now Hamas Rodriguez. Oh, no. Arsenal, they're tackling really well. Oh, Romero, well done. Not afraid to go in with the challenge, even if he's on a yellow. Yuri Tielemans. Oh, great ball by... Oh, oh Depay. You had to finish that. That was, yeah, uh, just Yuri Tielemans on show there. That ball was explicit. That, w that was amazing. Oh... What are you doing, man? Just the whole team. I'm just trying to focus. Okay, Munir's going to come on. Uh, we'll go a bit more. Uh, we'll go direct now. We'll go direct and we'll push higher up a bit. We'll run at the defense. We've got the players to do that. Come on. Come on. Who's done poorly today? Goethe huh? hasn't really impressed. Here we will bring on Di Maria. And this is when we do need to make three subs. We need to change it. We need it because we're not going to win. Depay is not going to look like scoring. So Yanazai, it's his time to step up, surely. We'll make these three subs. Has to be. We have to change something dramatically because we're not playing well. We're changing like one player isn't going to do much, especially 70 minutes now. Uh, less than 20 minutes remaining. We need a goal from somewhere, and we don't really look likely at the minute. So, got to turn this around. Even a team talk at the same time will go assertively and say demand more. I'd hate to lose it here, especially to Arsenal. It's been a kind of a big rivalry, apart from the rivalry that was already there between Arsenal and, uh, and Man United. Oh no, they've got a corner. This could be done and dusted here. Oh, come on. Deal with it. Oh, no. They've got it back. It's Florenzi. It's going to be their chow. Ah, fucking Yanazai. Oh, my God. Penalty. Are you serious? See, that's gone now. Because the Yanazai gave away the penalty. Well done. Unless Casillas. Come on. Experience of Casillas. Save this penalty. Aaron Ramsey. Oh, Casillas gets the right way. But, yeah, it's very. it's looking unlikely from here. It's looking unlikely. Uh, see, this concerns me a lot. Because um, I do want to win Champions League. But I think my team is perfect. Like, I don't feel I could build a better team at the minute. Um, it's all good. We have young guys who's getting better. Oh, we've lost this. I just I can't, I can't. don't bother anymore. We're not going to score twice. Yeah, there we, it's over. We might score a goal now, but we'll still lose. There's th there'll be a chance for someone. Um, but yeah, I'm not really minding too much, and it might be something like I mentioned in the previous episode, the mindset of the players are not in this competition, it's Champions League, and that's why we dominated there, uh, wow, they even scored another, so, um, it's not something I'll completely just sweep under the carpet, you know, even though we had more shots, more clear-cut chances as well, they've got four goals from one clear-cut chance, Mm, I'm I'm not 100% sure. We have a bit more possession as well. Uh, so, yeah, I'll analyze the game a bit more. But for me, I feel the players are like me, like I mentioned previously. Uh, there's a big focus to win Champions League because they know, yeah, they haven't won it. So congratulations to Arsenal. Uh, they did take their chances really well. What our players couldn't do, that's that was our problem. We couldn't take our chances. And then I, that happens as well. When players continually miss chances, the whole morale of the team goes down during the game. Like, it just feels like it's not our day. So, pretty disappointing. And, of course, that was coming off the strong 3-1 performance away from home against Borussia Dortmund. You can just see, like, there's no consistency in that performance. You see, we played a completely different way, completely different confidence. As I said, maybe the players just weren't up for it. At least we made the, yeah, the final of the Capital One Cup. Um, but as I mentioned already, it's not the most important competition to win. Uh, so I suppose I can use that excuse for that competition. But if we uh, perform poorly um, on a in more important games, like in the Premier League now, uh, we've got games coming up. I'll record those. Um, I'll do, yeah, two episodes uh, for the rest of the season or two games uh, for the rest of the season in each episode. And yeah, we'll see how that goes down. I'm pretty disappointed with the result. 
Um, and obviously, because this is the only game in this episode, you're probably going to analyze it. But I've had already games um, this season like this, and we've turned it around. Uh, like, we lost against Norwich and thought something might be going wrong. But then, that was yeah, a few games before the Borussia Dortmund one. But you just see the difference. And beating Newcastle 4-1, um, you, you get some bad games. But, yeah, it's something I'm not... That's why I'm focusing on it so much right now. Like, uh, I'm not happy about it. Uh and I'm not sure if it means I should change something because we've been absolutely killer with this way of playing for the whole season, you know. So I don't want to change things drastically that got us a 3-1 victory away from home against a pretty good side in Borussia Dortmund. So very interesting. But like I said, credit to Arsenal. We'll end the episode here. And I shall see you guys in the next video.